many blessings and welcome. Honored and grateful that you're here. So today is transmute to break through. So the question is, how do we transmute energy that we're feeling or that's inside of us or in our body that needs to be transmuted? Well, there's many, many different ways. Um, but essentially, you want to ground it. Um, you can use walking outside barefoot meditation. You can bring your hands and feet to the earth. I j just did a video previous before this on grounding the energy. Um, so kind of taking off from that. But also, inspired also from the video about um, honoring your growing pains. So, um, from what I've been experiencing and the inspiration that came from this video is when an intense amount of energy is happening or you're receiving or feeling, let's say you're, you know, an empath sensitive and you're feeling uh, within you, but also another, and it becomes a bit overwhelming. So the natural, um, undisciplined approach is to react. So a way to transmute is, you know, to step back and, uh, you know, practice a self-control, let's say, by, like, there's that urge, okay, let's just be honest, like, let's say you're in a triggering situation with somebody, and they're saying things that you don't resonate with or you feel that are lies about you, so you're like, that's a lie, you know, and that's a reaction. Okay, so therefore you lose your power when you're reacting and instead of it being purged and transmuted, it just actually builds up more and more tension in your body. And I notice if you've ever been in a disagreement with someone or something triggers you, it actually can make you feel physically fatigued, give you a headache, you feel drained. I mean, there's really just nothing healthy about any of that, to be completely honest. But there's also a pain sensation and it's like in your body. So there's this like, uh, somebody says something that triggers you and you don't feel it's true. And you're like, that's not true. Like you feel a reaction, okay? So it's like an uncontrollable sort of energy. It's just like, no. All right, so here, how we can transmute is to step back, take a deep breath. You know it's not true, so be the bigger person breathe through it, get a little space if you can. And then when you come back to the person or situation, after it's been transmuted through breath work, through grounding, through meditation, through doing a yoga uh, you know, class or um, your own yoga or you know, practice or whatever it be, if, take some time in nature, go for a walk, hug a tree, do whatever it takes whatever thing or whatever action or let's say stillness would be the best approach honestly to be able to still the the feeling or, or stuff coming up but to be able to step back is where the true bravery comes and also the victory because the step back from from going into reaction now you're not losing your power you're you're getting your power back you're getting your power back, which is super important. So then when you regain that, that peace, after you've taken the time to transmute it before, you know, instead of reacting, you've stepped back to transmute. You get a clearer, clearer, like, you know, thought form. They're not this like, I can't believe it. That hurts me. It's like basically stepping out from taking it personal. So when you can step back and go into a meditation or go transmute it through, you know, going on a walk, hugging a tree, going and putting your hands and feet on the earth, just taking a minute so that it doesn't go into uncontrollable reaction and stepping back gives you your power and also gives access for a breakthrough to come through, okay? So instead of it having, and sometimes let's just, just 
be completely honest, in order for us to have this breakthrough that I'm currently talking about, there was a breakdown first. So sometimes there may be a breakdown to a breakthrough, but the breakdown is where you lose your power. The breakthrough is where you gain your power back. So when you take a step back to transmute the energy and get a clearer communication, you know, or clearer just understanding, like this may be something this other person is going through, you know, maybe they're taking it out on you. Maybe they don't even have control in the moment. So you can get more compassion. You can also be like telling yourself and just kind of stepping back. Like, I mean, sometimes you can't always like, it's so intense. You can't always like go take a walk without maybe them coming with you. So you can go, I don't know, to the restroom or something and just take a few minutes or, or your room or, or just somewhere you can go for a few minutes and even tell yourself, this is not true information. I am not such and such and such. There is a triggering thing going on. And I have a choice here. I can lose my power and react to it, which doesn't serve anything or anyone and really just drains everybody and yourself. Or I can take a moment here and try some different techniques to transmute it. So going into earth, you know, and hugging a tree, for example, is lovely. Just taking a few minutes to yourself to breathe or even being there, you, they can keep speaking and you can keep breathing. That's like the ideal situation to be able to stay in it and still be in stillness. But when we're just starting out or if it's reaction, it's just like a hard thing to pull back from. We may need to actually literally pull ourselves out of the situation to transmute it. Okay. And that's perfectly fine. Um, I've been on a spiritual path for a long, long time, but there are moments and there are breakdowns where I'm reacting and I have to step, you know, I have to step back and realize that I need a little alone time to regroup and recenter. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. It's a very humbling thing and it's vulnerable at times and it's humbling, but that's okay. I'm totally cool with that. So, you know, let's just honor where we are. So taking the time going and taking deep breaths and you can do, I do things like I put my hands on my heart. I am worthy. I am loved. I am understood. I am one with God. I am powerful. I am victory. So affirming can also be a form of transmuting because if you choose to affirm versus react, you're transmuting it. If you choose to go grounded versus react, you're transmuting it. You're, you're not you know, you can go from losing your power from reacting or you can transmute it and gain your power back, which is amazing. That's the, that's the state that we want to be in to hold our center and hold our peace. I'll be honest with you. We all get those moments. <laughs> this is why it's so important. And this is why I want to really convey this message because it's, let's, let's be honest with ourselves. There are moments and even if the reaction is happening within you, you could be like, I can't believe they said that there's such and such and such. And that's a reaction. Even if you're just thinking it, or feeling a negative emotion about it or triggered by it in some way. So stepping back. And then when you transmute it, you have your power back. Okay, we've got that clear. And when you have your power back, you can go and consciously communicate with responding and not reacting, but responding, which there gives you your integrity and your power and also allows you instead of being a doormat to it to express like you come back you say when you said such and such and this would be a response versus reaction when you said such and such and such i do not feel that that is accurate i do not feel that that is truth about me and it hurt me do you in all honesty in your higher self feel that about me and you'll find that once you make up or once the trigger's over, they'll be like, no, I don't know why I said those things. Okay. So then you can see this person and then you can also help that person. So somebody has to be the bigger person when in a triggered situation. Somebody has to level up. It, it really, it's also a surrender. It doesn't matter who's right and it doesn't matter who levels up. If both of you can level up or both, you know, the situation can level up together, that's ideal. But just one of the two in a triggered situation, one of the two, you know, has to choose not to react. Okay. I, ideally for the, tr for the transmission of everybody, both will have to 
choose to respond instead of react to have that breakthrough. But if just one person can have the breakthrough, it's going to reflect to the other. It just naturally will because there'll be no more fuel for the fire. So they'll just be like, okay. And then they can see. So it's either by you being mature and taking the higher road, then they can begin to see, oh my goodness, I'm reacting or vice versa. Like, oh my goodness, I'm reacting to their trigger. So somebody has to level up. And in doing that, we choose to consciously respond instead of react. Now we have our power back, now we're integrity, and now we can transmute the energy into a breakthrough. So we're heard, we express that that hurt us without reacting and being like upset or crying or getting upset about it or saying something and getting triggered and responding or reacting back to them. Instead, we can respond to them after we've taken the time to transmute the energy. Because let's just be honest, sometimes it's in your body. You might feel anger. You might feel sadness. You're going to feel something if someone says something that's not very nice. Okay? So... It's not important about arguing about who's right. This is a huge lesson I've learned. That's very much the trigger of the ego. Like, well, we said such and such, and this is what we agreed to, so I don't understand why you're so angry. Da da da, now you've hurt me. Now you've messed up, you know, and so that's, that's all reaction. So to respond would be like, I understand that you're feeling triggered right now. However, we did communicate about this. And I was just following what we communicated about. So I feel I'm still in integrity. And it did hurt me when you got upset about it and were triggered and reacted. So now there's no two wrongs. You know what I mean? One stepping back. It's not saying like pointing fingers. It's just like this is how it made me feel. Instead of this is how you make me feel. It's more of like this is how the situation made me feel. Because remember the trigger is the situation. It's not the person. Okay. It happens to the best of us. There are days things happen that trigger us. Maybe some stress at work. Maybe somebody said something mean and then it trickles down. So at some point somebody has to stop it and transmute it. It doesn't stop. We have to stop. I heard that once from a guru, and it's very, very true. It doesn't stop. We have to stop. Okay? So we stop. We take a step back. We take deep breaths. We affirm positive affirmation so that our body that's feeling that urge to react is calming down. Like, you're right. That's not true. That's not who I really am. This is just a situation that's come up. And I can choose to be empowered right now versus reacting. And in that transmission allows for a breakthrough in proper communication, in responding, in having compassion and having love and understanding and be able to come to middle ground. I've seen it I don't know how many times. Reaction leads to more and more and more down spiraling and then it drains your energy and then you have to bring yourself back up, okay? Responding consciously after transmuting energy builds up inspiration and it, it sets a platform for healthy communication and allows that breakthrough to come up. Now we can see what was really triggered. What is really in need because if you're the one, okay, if you're the one who's like um, on the other side of it, let's say, which it felt like this is what I experienced. I was in peaceful vibe. Everything was going well. And then I was just following to the commitment that was made and all was good. At least in my head, you know, there was a certain time I committed to. I just following that. It was flowing for me very well. This other person didn't feel the same about that. And so instead of being like transmuting it I reacted so I'm grateful that happened because now this is the inspiration for the video because it was like the final straw for me like I've seen this too much like enough 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 it's time that I stop because it doesn't stop I have to stop so in even though you know it started a reaction don't feel that you've lost there that you've lost your power you can at any time take your power back by choosing in any now moment 
to turn that around, okay? In any now moment, so you're never too far gone. You can always turn around from where you are in that moment. In any moment there, you can stop it, transmute it, level it up, in which allows a platform for healthy communication and then the breakthrough. So that's what we saw. When I, after reacting, pulled back and said, okay, so in this previous moments, I did not choose responding. So let me take a minute here, take deep breaths, do the I am worthy, I am loved, I am grateful, I am healed, I am blessed, I am understood, I am respected, such and such and such. And then let me come back now that I'm a little bit more centered and approach this with a response. Breakthrough. Because then the real triggering that was going on was being identified to what was under that mask. A lot of times we wear levels of mask, which is a whole, I should probably do another video on that, but basically, you know, identifying what you really feel is a bit of a process of transmuting. But to be able to express what you really feel is loving. It's authentic. And you can respond instead of react, which allows the breakthrough. And in that breakthrough, you can identify what you're really feeling, what you're really thinking, what really is under the surface of that trigger, which allows even more transformation and transmuting between the two. But still, it doesn't always ideally, and I'm sure everyone understands what I'm saying, if someone's in reaction and then you come back in reaction, it's just a spiral of somebody has to stop. It doesn't stop, we have to stop. So we stop, take, take a step back, take the observer point of view, transmute it, come back with a response, and then that sets the platform. That is the empowered energy. And with the empowered energy, the breakthrough will follow. So then the two can have a breakthrough and level up. It's wonderful. Um, so transmute to a breakthrough and thank you so much for being here i'm so honored and grateful and humbled um just to really get into that essence of um you know what's what's really what's real what's real and raw and just really get into conveying the message here of you know what i think that a lot of people may experience or have experienced at some point so thank you so much for being here. I wish you many blessings, love and light, and transmission for transformations for breakthroughs. Thank you so much. Namaste. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit like. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, feel inspired, by all means, we're grateful. Um, you can hit subscribe. And also, if you feel inspired to leave a comment, we would love to hear it. Thanks again. Many blessings. Namaste.